Hey guys! Hey! It's, um, the Schleit Girl 556. Five, the Schleit Kid 556. Five, Sorry, I just changed my username and I forgot what it was. So today I'm going to show you how to make halter name plates for your horse. Now this is Tornado. I just made him, so it's, yep. Um, so pretty much what you need is you need a model with a halter. Um, so this is Sunny. I'm going to be making Sunny one. Um, you can do this on or off your horse. Um, if it's like mine that slips over, I would suggest you take it off. But if it's not, then, and you can Velcro it off, then you can keep it on. Now I'm going to take mine off. So pretty much, halter it. So what you need is you need a horse with a halter. Um, if you don't have a horse with a halter, go on YouTube, look up how to do it. Um, you need clear tape. Um, I have to use packaging tape because my like normal postage tape is not clear. I mean, it has to be see-through clear or you won't be able to see your horse's name correctly. Um, you need a computer with Microsoft Word on it. Um, my iPod is standing up on my computer right now and so I will be looking up at the computer. Um, and you need a printer. That actually works and it has ink in it. So first what you need to do is you need to take your halter off your horse and you need to go on Microsoft Word and get, I use the Georgia font at font size 9, 8 or 9. Um, I use 9. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in your horse's name. Mine will be Sunny. And it should be on Georgia 9 and I bold mine. So let's see. I hope you guys can see this. Hope you guys can see that. But um yeah. So it should look a little bit like that. Um you might want to do more than one um name on a page because if you do one name, it takes about that much space. And that is a waste of paper, people. So I'm gonna also do Prince William. Well, I hope I can fit his on yeah, this is Prince William, and his halter is falling apart. Ooh. So, I hope I can fit. Yeah, it's string. It's falling apart. So, um, I think I might just write Prince on it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to print it. Um, make sure they're on Georgia font 9 bolded. If they're bolded, it looks way better. So, you're going to print it. And you'd have to wait a second for mine to print. But, um... If you don't have, here's my printer. But if you don't have a halter with your horse, then you are gonna have to make one, or just like website makes them. Now, see, I just printed two names on that. Look how much room that took up. Pretty sad. So pretty much, what you're gonna do, you're going to cut it out. Okay, I'm gonna rush through this because I just look at the time and I didn't realize the time is. So you're gonna cut it out. And what, I'm going to go ahead and do Sunny's, and I'll just have Prince's for later. Um, you're going to cut it as small as you possibly can without cutting the name. Oh, sorry. It's kind of hard if you have big scissors. But, yeah. And. Okay. And. Shabam. So, here's the name. Sunny. Um, so you have to make sure, put it on the halter first if it fits, which mine does. Put it on the side of your horse's halter. Put it on the side of your horse's halter, like a normal plate would. Like, here's the side. Um, uh, but, um, make sure you put it on the side. Um, take a small piece, like you don't even need this big of a piece. Um, I'm going to cut this in half. I cut this in half, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over her name. Try to center it, but mine isn't centered. But what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the side, and you're going to fold over the tape. Like, so, so you're going to fold it over on the other side, and if you cut it, it won't stick. So it's folded over, and it's on the halter. And then you put the halter on the horse, make sure it fits. And, okay, hold up. 
Shabam. You have a nameplate. So these are easy, and this minute is like 5 minutes and 10 seconds, and that did not take long, but it will take even shorter once you get the hang of it. But, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I will have a halter tutorial on mine later, because my halter are just two jump rings, and yeah. But I will have that out later, um, so you can do this if you don't have a halter. Um, it's a very simple project, um, uh, I think it's fun. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you comment and subscribe and all that jazz. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, yes, I did change my name. It was a heavy ranker, then it was Cool Chick 67, now it's Schleit Kid 556. Yeah, the Schleit Kid 566. So, yeah, I'm still the same person. I will still be doing it. And I have to go back to school next week, so I will be doing tons of videos. Thanks for watching.